Coaches, it's been a while, but welcome back to Air Raid Nation, where today we're going to talk about attacking man coverage with one of our favorites, 95 wide cross. Stay tuned. Coaches, welcome back to Air Raid Nation. This is Coach Cotharp coming to you again after a brief hiatus, man. Wanted to take a few weeks off and just kind of spend some time with family and relax and recharge as we get, you know, get ready for the summer grind, you know, running back into our fall season. I'm so excited about, you know, having a regular football season and hopefully everything works itself out so we can do that. Um, all that being said, man, I had a chance to go up to Carolina uh, this past week and, and spend some time with Coach Longo and a bunch of coaches from all over the country, man. It was kind of an impromptu symposium type deal and it was just really cool because it was back and forth and people were shooting ideas off each other man and I learned so much and I really appreciate the opportunity to do that shout out to those of you guys who watch the channel who um got a chance to meet man you guys are pretty awesome dude and I really appreciate you guys um checking out our content speaking of which if you love this kind of content that we're doing you know these short videos that kind of explain something you know kind of you know in a, in a simple way that, that you can apply to pretty much any office, including the Air Raid, man. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. You know, we're, all, we're getting close to 6,000 subscribers, man, and that means so much to me. But more importantly, man, if, if you love these kind of videos and you really want to and you really want to help us boost the, the, the channel, if you could drop a like, man, if this video could get 100 likes, man, I would really appreciate it. Um, but all that all that good stuff aside, man, let's jump into the video because we're going to talk about attacking man coverage with 95 wide cross today. All right, guys, so here we are over in our Just Play software, man, and you guys know that this is my preferred playbook software, man. I just love it because you can draw stuff up, you can use videos, you can attach it, your team can really use it, man. So if you really want to check it out, man, go over to JustPlaySS.com and check those guys out, man. It's they're just they're just great people and so you know as you can see man i got all kind of different versions of 95 in, in our little playbook and if you picked up our playbooks you've seen some of this stuff um you can check all that stuff over all, all that stuff out over on the web on the web page 92meshgroup.com but i want to go down here and i want to look at um this trips version of of a t of 95 because i really think that i learned something from from coach longo that that just kind of I don't know why I never really thought about it before. I mean, we just kind of run things and, you know, there's two schools of thought, man, you know, in the air raid. One of them is, is we don't care what kind of coverage they they use. And, and the other one is, you know, we, we can just kind of adapt to what we see on the run. And, and I've always been a, a, a traditionalist, you know, run wide 95 from one side and not really worry about what coverage you see and things like that. Um, because that's how Coach Mummy teaches it. He, you know, he's, he doesn't really care what defenses do. They read grass and they keep it moving. And, and I learned some RPO stuff from, from Coach Longo about reading grass, too. And we'll probably do a video on that at some point, too, man, which I thought was really cool. But today I wanted to talk about this idea of 95 and what do you do when you're getting man coverage. And, and I got a clip uh, later on in the video, man, so stick around and I'll show you some video of, of what I'm talking about. Um, but, you know, generally speaking, we always talk about in the air raid that H and F or H and R are interchangeable. OK, so right now we're going to go three by one, which means F now has the flat route because we're in trips and H has the flat route over here. Because, you know, normally if we were in two by two, we would have an option route right here in this in, the, in this general area. But now F is going to be in the backfield. No big deal. Um, it's just kind of what's going on now. And you'll see this in the clip. But if you get press man. That arrow is now dead. Like, you can't really do anything with it. And not only that, you're going to have a hard time releasing under Sam over Mike with Y. So you have two choices here. You can either let H run the cross or you can and have Y, you know, run some kind of out route, you know, whether it's a five yard out or an arrow or whatever. Or if you want to stay traditional and, and let's say you want to go two by two motion, you know, you can do some things like that. Um, so, so you have a couple of different choices. So what do you do if you get like press man coverage? And, and one of the things that, that coach Longo and them do at Carolina, which was, which is really, really cool is they tag this whip route. And when I show you the film, you guys are going to be crazy. Like you're going to see like how that opens up. Why so quick if you get that man coverage. So that's something I'm definitely going to be adding in is we're going to go three by one and we're going to add this little whip route. Um, so you can, so it, so it opens up that Y under, under, over and, and, and seven on seven, especially when these people are running all this man coverage, you, you, you know, this is something that, that you really might want to think about. We're still reading the same one, two, three, four, 
Um, no big deal. We remember I told you that there's a couple of Y cross videos on the channel where we started reading things across the top and Y cross. Um, and it's the same thing. And at the symposium, man, you know, everybody was like, you know, people were like, hey, if you got one play for a million bucks, what are you going to run? And, and you'd be surprised how many of them said Y cross in the room. And, and and so it's really cool that you can have this little wrinkle to attack man coverage with that. All right. All that being said, hey, man, let's jump into the video. Coaches, before we jump into the video diagram, man, I just wanted to take this quick shot to, to tell you about what we're doing on the channel this July, man. It's pretty awesome, man. We're going super patriotic. We're giving away foundations of, of the Air Raid, 245 copies for the patriotic price of $17.76, man. So if you've always wanted to get the three and a half hour course, but didn't want to spend a ton of money, for under 20 bucks, you can pick it up. And on top of that, if you want to go a step further, you can get advanced concepts, 200 copies for the bicentennial price of $19.76. So going over to Coach2, com check us out you can pick us you can get a link on the website 92 mesh group.com appreciate you listening to the break and let's jump into the video all right guys here we are over in our just play software man and i just wanted to share this this kind of with you so you can see what it is we're talking about and so here's here's carolina versus nc state and you see and you can see nc state has walked up you know they're playing man coverage right here they're going to show some kind of overload blitz there's your six man box man here man here Okay, so you can see everybody's playing man. He's gonna roll to the to the center of the field. They're gonna play a cover one concept. So if you look at our at our regular um, you know air raid ninety five. H here would be going to the flat, and he would try to be coming up. He would try to come under, but that that could, that can cause all kind of collision issues. So I wanted you to see what they do right here in the slot. Pay attention to that slot and check out this whip route. So, so they're lining up, they're pointing out the blitz, the back's going to stay in and pick up the blitz. But look what happens when, when H runs that whip, okay? He does such a good job of just, you know, he's going to take those three steps, bang, 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 turns those guys' hips. Now, he actually falls coming out of the whip. But now, look at the Y cross coming across. Now, Coach, you know, Sam is going to throw deep to his dude, you know, which is, you know, what, what we would all do. If you got a good matchup right there, he sees single high safety, so he knows he has one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. So he's going to take that shot. But look at the Y cross coming across the middle. If you, if you don't win right there immediately, um, you know, look at, look at the middle of the field now. And, and so this is what I really wanted you to see and how that whip route is really what creates that because it's man coverage. OK, it gives him an opportunity to do that. And and, and you can see the backside guy. He's going to come open late, too. But it's just a great way for you to uh, to identify man coverage pre-snap with your dudes and not even have to tag it. They just know I see man. So I'm going to run a whip. And so we call that a man adjustment. So if you if, if you're getting a little bit more advanced in your air raid and you want to do something cool, you know, man, adjust that whip route against this 95 and create yourself some space right here. Coaches, I hope you enjoyed today's video about a man adjustment for 92, uh, 95 wide cross. Um, you know, anytime I go to a clinic, I get really excited. Uh, you know, if I can just bring home one nugget, man, I was able to bring home about 15 or 20 nuggets from this past week at Carolina, man. I'm just really excited for that opportunity. Um, you know, once again, if I can help you guys out, hit me up on Twitter at Coach Coltart, man. If you have some video ideas or some things that you want me to talk about down in the comments below, man, drop, drop, drop a like on the video, comment. Let me let me know what you want to talk about, man. If we can get this video to 100 likes, man, that would that would mean the world to me. And as always. Spin it to win.